if you failed your first year of medical school and you're planning to repeat the year, let me ask you, what's going to make your repeated first year of med school different? After all, there's the old saying that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Number one, if you're going back, I think you should do something to change the process. Number two, many repeating students will not. They'll just go back and that can, of course, work. Number three, as a baseline, I think you should address any mental health or physical health issues during this time between failing and repeating as well. And number four, spoiler warning here, I'm going to recommend our Stat Med Study Skills class for most first-year med students who failed and plan on repeating. Why I recommend the Stat Med class? It's a terrific opportunity for you to return to school as an all-new, all-different student equipped with a wide array of study, time management, and test-taking skills specifically designed for learning in the fire hose that is medical school so you can go back fully in charge of how you learn and study and maximize your time and show what you know on exams and make all of your hard work pay off. And if that's what the stat med class can do, then that all warrants expecting different results, doesn't it? Before I dig into this deeper, let me just say, if you failed your first year of med school, I'm sorry. It's truly gutting in a traumatizing experience and it flat out sucks, but you're not alone. It happens all the time. People just don't talk about it. I've literally heard this story hundreds, hundreds of times. And so many of them that I've met who did the class after failing first year have gone on to have extremely successful careers as physicians. So here are seven reasons why you might consider taking the stat med class if you failed your first year of med school and plan on repeating. No, you don't have to fail to take the stat med class, but a significant portion of those taking the class did fail. Likewise, this applies to students in related fields like veterinarians, PharmDs, PAs, etc. So number one, let's highlight a huge problem no one's talking about, and it's this. No one teaches smart med students how to study. I mean, right? This is kind of crazy if you think about it. Once you get into med school, they just throw you into the mixer and say, since you made it into our med school, you should be able to succeed. And if not, maybe the problem is you. I think this starts way before med school where a certain kind of smart student can get through all the pre-med hurdles with excellent grades and never learn to effectively study. Maybe they crammed, maybe they overcompensated, maybe they used low yield strategies that were good enough in that arena, but whatever they did then doesn't work anymore. That's very real. And I'll tell you what, if that happened to you, it's not your fault, it's the system's fault. But the good news is, it's not too late to learn robust and comprehensively diverse and effective ways to study in med school now with the stat med class. So number two, the stat med class is built exactly for your situation if you failed and plan on repeating. It's a rigidly built 10 day program that is rigorous and demanding scope and sequence wise that I've been developing and refining for over 15 years and teaching a version of this specific stat med class for over 10 years. It's hard work, but my students aren't afraid of hard work and it's exciting and based in learning science and patterns we've discovered with how and why med students who struggle can develop and use skills to become super successful when they go back. And this is not tutoring. Tutoring to me is feeding people a fish dinner meal by meal. Instead, with the class, we teach you to be the fisherman, teaching you to feed yourself in perpetuity, teaching you to be self-sustaining, not just when you go back in that first semester, but for the rest of your career. The class spans about 10 days and 10 days is fast, but not too fast. And then you follow the class up using the plan you made under our guidance called the post admin med study plan. And you use that to train with the skills to really entrench and expand and evolve them between leaving the class and restarting school. A third reason to take the stat med class if you failed your first year of medical school is that we address one of the biggest issues in medical education, along with other things, 
but what we call the speed volume density equation, where there's so much coming at you so fast and you're responsible for all of it in a very short amount of time. Many of my med students who take the step med class will say, it's not that any one topic or concept in med school is that hard, it's just that there's so much so fast and you're responsible for all of it. And I agree, look, learning has to start with the learner being able to see and find the organization and the structure of any given topic they're learning. And due to the speed volume density equation that runs through the heart of medical school, medical school education, this wipes some students out at the very beginning of every learning event, be that a given lecture or an independent learning assignment or some other sort of self-paced module. So a key aspect among others, of the StatMed class is designed to sequentialize the learning, starting with structure, working our way inward toward the details, cutting out all the low yield activities students often waste time on, and putting the right study and management actions in place in the right order again and again and again. Any student who completes the StatMed class will have the tools to better manage the inescapable speed volume density equation in med school which is a critical part of why our stat med class students are often so successful when they return to medical school life. For the fourth reason you might want to consider taking the stat med class if you're repeating your first year of medical school, I'll say is let's fix this while you're not currently taking classes in real time. While many schools employ learning support staff, their jobs are often designed to plug holes in your metaphorical boat while you're in the metaphorical river of taking classes uh, to keep you from sinking while in the middle of semester while taking classes while classes are underway. They likely have a very large student roster to deal with, so you only have limited access to them, and they're likely giving you disconnected tips and advice because that's all anyone really has time for in that context. This is likely great for some medical students. They might just need the learning specialist to help them plug a few holes to stay afloat. But in my experience, this is not enough for all struggling med students, including many of the ones we're talking about right here, the ones who failed and have to repeat. At StatMed, our role is almost the exact opposite of the kind of learning support folks you meet in med school. This isn't good or bad, it's just different. So for example, we only work with students when they're not taking classes. You can't change the tire on a moving car. So either over the summer, over the semester break, or when they're on a leave of absence preparing to repeat when school restarts several months down the line. So in our boat going down the river analogy, we don't plug holes midstream. We take the boat out of the water, tear the boat apart, and rebuild the boat. You follow me with my metaphor here? That way, when the boat is put back in the river, it's equipped to handle, I don't know, the, the rapids and the waves. It's getting away from me. When the student re-enters the river of med school classes, he or she is equipped to handle the demands of being back in the gauntlet of med school. Their boat isn't going to sink this time. And another thing that's different between stat med and your in-school advisors and specialists is this. While they might often rely on those tips and bits of advice, we're the opposite here. We believe in teaching robust, flexible, modular, end-to-end -end systems. That's composed of a variety of discrete skills. We teach each skill in isolation, in context, using authentic medical school examples to practice on. And we iterate each skill, then combine these skills into a system each student customizes to fit their needs. That's how we teach it in the stat med class because we have the time and it's already designed that way. And that's what I'd want if I were in my student's shoes. And that's one of the reasons the class is such a great opportunity for someone looking to repeat in med school. So if you have six months, four months, two months, one month, even less in a pinch, let's use this time to onboard the study skills, the time management and workflow tools and test taking methods now, and then make a plan so you can iterate and practice them between completing the class and restarting school, so you'll be ready to go back in and make the most of that opportunity. Fifth, let's equip students who struggle so they're in charge of their own learning. Look, I get it, med school is not built right. 
And I appreciate the ways we see schools flipping classrooms or using problem-based learning or spicing up the lecture-based learning design to try to make more students succeed and improve retention rates. But at the end of the day, my solution comes from the other end of the spectrum. Let's take these med students, especially the ones who've struggled, and in this case, maybe failed, and let's target them and fully rebuild the way they study medicine addressing the fact that they likely need skills that address issues with being low structure builders, who rely on low yield strategies, who can't take the advice from peers and advisors and figure it out on their own, and who are not equipped with the right workflow and time management tools. They don't need to reinvent that, we can do that for them. Let's equip them so they can be in charge and in control in any medical learning environment they find themselves in regardless of the school's design, curricularly speaking. That's a huge part of what we're offering to do in the stat mid class. And that's, that's exciting, isn't it? Number six. So for number six, the stat mid class can be an opportunity to turn the failure into an asset. What do I mean? I, I'm, not, I'm a pragmatist at heart. I'm not a, not a rose tinted glass half full optimist, but I think we can take the experience of the first year failure and turn it into a positive. Because here's the deal, if you failed first year, you now know the truth behind the speed volume density equation. You know what it's like to drink from the fire hose. You know it's more brutal than you would have ever expected. Now, for example, you might know what it's like to try to sit through lecture or a whole day of lectures and come out exhausted, frustrated, and feeling like you're starting from scratch. We can fix that. Maybe you know what it's like using the old low yield study methods that used to work, but don't get the job done anymore. Good news, we can fix that too. You might know what it's like trying to study like your peers and their help and advice isn't cutting it like they might love Anki or preach the value of repeated readings and that doesn't work for you. We can illustrate why this is the case for them and not for you and how to work around these types of issues. Or you might know what it's like trying to manage too many aspects of your life as a student internally and implicitly. We can teach tools to make that explicit and external and offload that burden. We address all this and more in the stat med class and all this is so much easier for us to teach to you, the student, when you've already tasted the bitter waters of that fire hose in that first year. So having been in the mixer is something we can use as an asset to help you bring the skills we're teaching on board, and that's definitely encouraging. And then finally, number seven, let me propose this. I'm not offering empty promises. I'm not gonna sit here and say, if you do the class, you'll go back to med school and life will be perfect and your grades will skyrocket and you'll pass everything and live on a cloud at the end of a rainbow. That's not how this works. And I think my students historically have understood this, but it's worth having me say it right here, right now. What we're teaching are very pragmatic, mechanistic skills. They're often counterintuitive. They require trial and error and iteration to learn. You might love a skill that we teach, but that skill might not be the moneymaker for you. It might not be the skill you need. You might, you might need different ones that we're teaching. Students are often poor judges of what will work for them. We help you figure this out, but at the end of the day, it does fall on the individual to make it all work. Is that encouraging or discouraging? I don't know, but it's real, and that matters to me and to many of my students. Running the gauntlet of medical school can be a brutal experience, and look, there are no guarantees at this level, but I can say this. We know what we're doing. We understand the gauntlet. We're great at what we do, and students are overwhelmingly thrilled with the stat med class pretty quickly within the first few days. Then they're surprised at how many more things we add into the mix as the class progresses. The fact that we're teaching a variety of skills that students can mix and match to address their needs is a reason the class can help so many people in so many ways. It's not like a, we're not relying on a single skill. And at the end of the day, I'd also say that what we offer is a chance to give each student his or her best chance to show their best selves when they go back. And that's more than fair and I think a great proposition at this point. So in summary, stat med class is a great opportunity for almost any medical student who failed their first year and plans to repeat. If you'd like to find out more, feel free to contact me so we can have an informal chat. 
and I can hear your story, answer your questions about the class, and help us both decide if the class is a good fit for you right now. There's never any obligation, of course. And if you're an advising dean or a learning support specialist at a medical school or related program, feel free to send students our way or contact me and we can talk. And don't wait for us to post classes. Many classes will fill up before we post them. So reach out at any time. I hope this was helpful. Feel free to explore our website for more videos, podcasts, and articles to learn more in depth about how the Stat Med class operates. And I'm always happy to explain to anyone who's interested. Thanks for watching.